Hello, monsters are bound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 2 of my Look Here campaign. The people of Chupper Chups are not happy. And before you say, actually, monsters are bound, it's pronounced Chupayotl. No, it's not. So, I win again. Checkmate. The dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Good. And so, yeah, the people of Chupper Chups aren't very happy. They're very cranky, in fact, despite the fact that their entire settlement is made out of lollipops. They're still losing their shit. Listen to them. See? Mental. A lot of them. So, we need to put a stop to that, but unfortunately, we basically can't. I, I literally have no way of stopping the rebellion. Even if I garrison this entire settlement with a, a stack, it won't help. So, I've kind of decided maybe I just have to let it rebel. Well, there's multiple options. I could just let it rebel constantly and maybe use it to train up some new lords or something. Or maybe I could just abandon Chupper Chups entirely and head somewhere else less problematic. The other issue, of course, is we've got Ulysses here. Cut that out! Exactly, down with that sort of thing. And uh, so he's hanging around. He is... I, I think we're going to lose the mark of the old ones. And do I care about that? Do I... I mean... The problem is, if I don't have a capital settlement, which is currently owned by Skrulk, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to sort out my public order problems. And plus, they're only just going to get worse. I'm tempted to actually maybe hit the Star Tower. Techless, high law master. Shut up, Teclis. It's a ballsy move, but Certain one that might work. There. So, I'm, I'm sort of tempted to maybe do that. The only problem is that I, I, I have this suspicion Teclis' army might be filled with shooty people. And my people don't have shields, which means they'll take a lot of damage from from that, which wouldn't be great. So, two Six options. Shush. Oh, God, guys, will you just calm your tits? It's not the... They're all so angry. We're going to go for this Felkarg over here. I then might go for this Remnants of Battle as well. And maybe have a look at... Me if we could... Okay, what? Well, Ulysses. We like to see you. Do that, that, not bother me. Come on, you Get, can we? All right, fine. Fine. The other, I mean, okay, two options. We go for Star Tower, we take it, we use that as a base of operations instead of Chupper Chups, which is garbage, or we go and deal with Skrulk. Now, the other issue is the fact that Teclis obviously doesn't like us, whereas Skrulk kind of does. Who are, they, are you at war with anyone? We like to see you. Yeah, I know. Do that, that. Shut, shut up, me. Ulysses. Shut up. Okay, they're all with um, two pack, two pack and clan pestilence. They're at war with. I mean, they might have bigger things on their plates. I mean, Welcome. do I need the mark of the old ones? Not really. I can't fix public order. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to Loki is going to go and grab some bits and pieces and recruit some more units. Meanwhile, I'm going to let the settlement rebel and then kill it for the experience. Win-win. Win-win-win. Obviously, that'll get me slaves. That'll get me more money. All that kind of good stuff. I feel like I've started another campaign where corruption issues are going to be basically my main problem throughout the start of the campaign until I kind of get a handle on it. Okay, Ulysses is going to take the mark of the old ones. That's... Well, it's not fine, but... Did he just sack it? Does that mean I'm going to get Rebellion? I'm going to get Rebellion next turn. Is that a problem? Ah, uh, it's probably fine. It's probably fine.
Okay, we'll get a rebellion, and maybe they'll take the marks of the old ones. But actually, is that a well? It is a problem. It's going to make my public order problems even worse. So. Spreaders of sickness and corruption. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, Loki is strict, so there. That's something. Ready. He's also picked up another skill point, which I'm. I feel like Sheaf Master because that gives reload time reduction and more ammo for our our dark shards and our dark shards are very much going to be the backbone of our early army so getting sheaf master is it's, it's, it's a no-brainer no-brainer let's go and grab this what is it we are going to have we're going to take arms and armor so a loaded ship wreck starts to sink as your heavy booted crew fail to take care while offloading the salvage the buffoons there's only time for one more load before they must abandon ship yeah we're going to take arms and armor We've got a crown of command and installed blades. Okay, so that's more melee attack and defense for our entire entire army. Underway. Uh, let's pop Loki over here. That means Chubba Chops is going to rebel. Yes, it's going to rebel. To and then some. But uh, that's going to be fine. I'm going to get rid of these bleak swords oh, because we don't need them really. I would like to up... Oh, this up reduces the upkeep. He already reduces the upkeep for Black Heart Corsairs quite considerably. Plus this, plus this. At one some point, we're going to have free Black Heart Corsairs, which is, I mean, uh, that's fine with me. I'll have free Black Heart Corsairs. We'll do that. Let's do that. I mean, currently this army is only costing me thirteen hundred, which is it's nothing really, is it? Do we have damage buildings? We do have damage. You know what? I'm going to knock that down because there's no point in having it. I suspect. That uh, Ulysses might well grab it next turn. So we'll build. And there's a rebellion. It's a Skaven rebellion as well. Because obviously the Skaven corruption here is <laughs> horrendous. Indeed. Why? You want a trade agreement? Um, you're cruel. We're cruel. Great match match. I mean, let's call the whole thing off. But all right, just for the moment. I can always kill you later. Let's look at the plus side. Okay, if I can get the gold mine in Chopper Chops, that'll be useful. I could also get a second army. That could also be useful. You are attacking that. Yeah, well. No, you, you, you're not. I don't. Not sure what you're doing. I mean, yes. It's going to give me public order problems, but let's face it, my people weren't exactly happy go lucky to start off with, so. It's ultimately not going to have that much of an effect on me, Ulysses. I don't quite know what your plan is. I think it's just to be a bit of a prick, isn't it? I will stay strong. Okay, and surprise, surprise, we've had a rebellion. Plan scheme is discordant. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's kill these idiots. Come here. The Come here. What you got? You got a whole bunch of clan rats, one unit of rat ogres. Retreat. Retreat. No. Fight. Come on. Raid, fight, That's more like it. Oh look, it's rebels. What a surprise. I think we'll be seeing a lot of these. A lot. So in comes Greg. Greg is flying high. Has to be a little bit careful because the enemy has missile units in the form of some Gutturunga slingers. And they're going to be throwing some slings at us. Well, some stones, actually. And missing. Good job. However, Greg is perturbed. As you can see, some of his leadership has been lost because he's been under missile fire. He's a little bit worried about it. He's fine. He's coming back. Meanwhile, the Rat Ogres are lumbering towards our lines. And our Dark Shards are just waiting for them to get into range. Because as soon as they do... Pincushion time! That'll do it. That's a lot of dead... Well, that's a, that's a lot of very wounded Rat Ogres. Meanwhile, Greg has jumped up and down on the Greyseer. Greyseer Murta, I believe his name is. But uh, he is being hit by the Slingers. So we have to be a little bit, little bit careful. 
The Rat Ogres have been completely annihilated, mostly by their own side, and that means the Corsairs can now charge in. On the right flank, our handbows are chasing after a unit of clan rats that seem to be running back to try and save their grey seer. And taking some fire while doing it. Greg has gone out of control. He's gone mental. He's lost his nut. He's, he's absolutely foaming at the mouth. However, he's also getting quite, quite shot. A lot. And now he's in the middle of some, some clan rat spears. He's now running away. He's had enough. He's off. He's lumbering away. He's okay. He's going to be okay. Meanwhile, some more clan rats charge back. And now they're being chased down. They're being shot in the back by our hand bows. You can see a lot of Skaven dropping dead. Because obviously they don't have a shield on the back. That's a mistake. For them anyway. And more clan rats now charging forward. They're just kind of wave assaulting, aren't they? That's a mistake. Because our crossbows can just concentrate on one unit at a time. And we have a lot of dark shards. They start to get a little charge in, but almost as soon as they get stuck in, they break and run for their lives. This, of course, means that they're very close to our Dark Shards and showing their back to them. They're unshielded back, which ends up about as well as can be expected as they all die horribly. And then come Greg comes back for another go with the Gutter Runners. And more importantly, the Grey Seer. Lokia is murdering people in the forest. He's already he's up to 20 kills. Not bad. He's, most, he's getting quite shot by his own... He's got quite a few crossbow bolts buried in the back of his head. Which is... I think that's fine. I think that's generally okay. Our hand bow's moving up. Taking some pot shots at the Grey Seer. He's taking some shots. Greg has lost... He's, he, Greg, we need to... You need to see some anger management classes. Because you... You go out of control very easily. Now, the gutter runners are going to try and have a little missile engagement with our hand bows. Unfortunately, they're outnumbered 3 to 1. And this goes about as well as could be expected for them. Yep, and very, very quickly they decide to actually run for their lives. Greg, though... He's, he's still having a pop at the Grey Seer, but he is also being shot by his own side. So we decide to pull pull old Greg out. He's, he's, done his, he's done good work, and we're going to just chase off that Grey Seer. And that's the end of this rebellion for a couple of turns. Basically, we're going to have a bit of a rat problem from here on in until I can deal with Skrulk. But we did get 114 slaves and some unit replenishment. And... Ah, uh, Scarecrow Banner, it's always the worst banner because it only affects flying units. It's rubbish. We Never mind. Fill the slave decks. And we will. We're going to uh, Scarecrow Banner. We'll get rid of that at some point. Let's continue getting Sheaf Master because, as I say, more reload time reduction is just so good. I'm not going to even bother equipping it. It's that bad. Okay, a few more slaves, not many. But that money's going to come in useful. More experience. Okay, good. Murder is murdered, ironically. Uh, come on. Okay, be there we go. Good lad, good lad. Okay. Okay, Greg took a bit... I, I probably shouldn't have thrown Greg into that by himself. He's he's more of a support unit. He shouldn't be on the front lines. But um, good job anyway, Greg. Let's get another one of those. Because I, I quite like to just round it out to four. That's quite good. I feel like maybe some, some Dread Spears would be a good option. Just to deal with any large units. So let's get a couple of them. I feel like they'll help. Um, I... <laughs> I don't know about upgrading Headhunter's Jungle. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Because we're going to endure endless rebellions. And there's not much we can do about it. So, do I care? I know they are. I mean, this, I, this will give us more of a garrison, won't it? 
Not by much, but it will be. And we, you know, we get a Death Hag. Some Black Art Corsairs, some Dark Shards. Hey, it's not. It's not the worst. So, all right, let's let's upgrade. In fact, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. If I wait two more turns, I can upgrade this to rank three. And then I can get a gold mine. That's more money. Then I can recruit another lord who can then hold on to Chopper Chops. Because we're going to need someone to do that. Mostly for the rebellions, but also because Tekalis could at any point decide that he doesn't like how we look and decides to come down and try and kill us. I mean, that's going to happen. Do I want to try and beat him to the punch? Could we maybe... We like to see you, oh, but I... Don't look. Come on, guys. Can we not just... Just get on. Okay, Black Arc upgrade available. I'm not going to do that yet. Don't think it's worth it. Settlement upgrade, we're not going to do that. Let's go with that. So I did knock down the growth building at the marks of the old ones. It, it was ruined anyway, and frankly, with... Ulysses running around, it's not going to stay fixed, so I may as well just get rid of it and assume that we're going to lose that settlement. If anything, his constant sacking is going to increase the amount of rebellions we have, which doesn't sound like a good thing, but it does mean we can then kill the armies and rank up a little bit, so it's not necessarily actually a bad thing. He's actually leaving. Okay, two turns, and we can get the upgrade at Chuppa Chups, and then get our gold mine. Oh, look, we're going to have another rebellion. What a surprise. Okay. Now, it should be noted, I can't ambush on this army. I'm assuming it's the same thing. Um, it must be something to do with being a horde. Because, obviously, Chaos can't do this either. Beastmen can, though, can't they? Yeah, who knows. Well, whatever the reason, um, <coughs> Lokir cannot cannot ambush because my I'm, I'm assuming something to do with the fact that he, like the vampires, uh, has a big old boat following him around, which can obviously cause some issues. Can we actually reach you? We can. Oh, you're actually no, you're marching. We could catch you up and kill you. Ready the Let's do that. Come here. Come here, little shit. Oh, Ulysses. Damn right. So we've caught Ulysses at sea. He was trying to get away, uh, but we've managed to catch up with him. This he is going to regret. Most of his army is coming across this center ground. A few units will be trying to flank on either side. We've got the handbows there to put a stop to them. Do these guys have... I, I think they I think our dark shards and their slingers have probably got the same range, but our dark shards are behind our line. Still, that's going to be fine, because we've got a lot of Dark Shards. So, lots of Skaven dropping before they even reach our line. They're taking some shot, pot shots at low here, but I don't think he, he doesn't seem to care. Does not... This, this unit of Clan Rats has just been melted. They rout before they even reach us. This unit manages to get into combat with low here, and then low here kind of, you know, just kills them. Over on the left flank, the Hambos have engaged the Clan Rats, and we're now moving in to engage this unit. We are also being flanked. You know, Escape and Slaves managed to sneak around our main line. Some Black Arc bombardment going off. Of course, nice thing about having Loki engage this blob over here, it means we can just open fire on them. And use our Black Arc Bombardment ability there. It's a couple of Clan Rats got reduced into jam. It's very nice. Our handbow's moving around the flank here. We do have a bit of a blob. Uh, three units of 
Skaven, clan rats and slaves engaging one unit of Black Art Corsairs. Although these Black Art Corsairs, you can see, are just racking up the kills quite nicely. Very good. This unit is kind of out of position over here. But I think they're okay. Most of the main line of Skaven are now retreating and falling back. There's Greg getting stuck in. And the Hambo's moving around on the left flank as well. We've managed to get a move around behind the enemy line. Now, obviously, Skaven will retreat and then come back to the fight. And it is... When fighting Skaven, uh, a bit of a risk is actually overextending yourself by letting your units get pulled out of position. The enemy Skaven general has decided to fight Lokir and has come off very much worse for wear. He's now running for his life. Unfortunately, obviously, away from the dark, yeah, dark shards. That did, did try to warn him, but he didn't listen. With the Skaven warlord's death, that means the rest of his army is now going to try and run away. And because our handbows are coming in from the rear, these Skaven are going to try and run through our Dark Elves, which means, of course, a lot of them are going to be horribly murdered, mauled, and turn into the, into jam, which is basically what happens to Skaven. As you can see, I, I do like the fact you can shoot them in the back as well as chase after them. You can see a big corralled group of Skaven there trying to run away, some trying to run directly into the Dark Shards, which is not a good idea because, obviously, that's point-blank range shots. Yep, did, did try and tell them, but there we go. So we're going to get some kills in. But we're going to just move them around and chase off these fleeing units with a few volleys of crossbows. That's Ulysses, very, very dead. And some more replenishment and some more slay. I mean, slaves aren't going to help our public order troubles, but what are you going to do? Okay, let's head back. Are we going to get a rebellion? Oh, shit, we're going to get a rebellion, aren't we? Frick. Um, frick. Okay, let's assume that we're going to have a rebellion. In which case... Spiteful. I do like Spiteful. Volilosh. She shadows as well. Two to seven loyalty. Let's get Volilosh. If we pop Grant. you in there, maybe you can... Just hold out, please? Uh, let's get you... You know what? The Corsairs aren't actually that much more expensive. And they're a lot better. Well, I say a lot better. I mean, they're pretty much... They've got more armor. As always. They're slightly cheaper. And Volilosh is just going to be defending our settlement. So let's just get maybe one of each. Let's get two of them. Let's do something like that. I command. Okay. Lokir... Could give him eternal hatred. More weapon strength, potentially, but I feel like Sheaf Master is just too good not to have. Too good not to have. We could actually do a right. We could do this for a sacrifice to Cain. We could increase our casualty replenishment rate and give us Dark Conduit, which is a very strong ability. Very useful. It's tempting. We don't have a lot of slaves anyway. We've got 513. We're currently getting 38 income from them. So, I mean, they're not doing an awful lot. Oh, we're going to have a rebellion. We're definitely going to have a rebellion. But stuff it. It's fine. Can we upgrade that next turn? Maybe. If the rebellion attacks and we have to kill them. Black Ark, no. In a rebellion, I know. I think, I feel like taking out Ulysses there was the right decision. Make your entreaty quickly. There are mortals to enslave. Exactly. What do you want? You want military access and you're going Yeah, sure. I'll take your money. Seen as I feel like Teclis is gonna declare war on me at any time. So I feel like Teclis is the one we need to deal with. While on my deck. You will do as I command. Hello, Ulysses. You want a peace treaty and you're going to pay me. Yes, I will take that. I will take your money. 
I suspect you just had to pay me. I suspect we got more out of that than he got in that, that little scuffle. Yes, he sacked the mark of the old ones, but I don't think he really got that much money from it. I think we got more money from killing him, plus, of course, the money he just gave us to peace out. How I hate escape. Yes, yes. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, mission issued. Be at war with Tupac. Get some money. Well, I mean... You cannot hold us! Maybe. Chuppa Chups, we're going to upgrade you to the Dark Tower. I might even destroy the... Well, see, if we can get the Reaper Bolt Thrower, that's going to be pretty huge. Although we currently don't have a lot of income, so... Can we get... Can we... Right, can you, can you like, land... Can you go here? What do you seek? Can no. you... Okay, if you land there, while Lilosh lands there, so be it. Look here. Right, while is coming as reinforcements, that's there fine. I'm. Mercy. I've got all to resolve that fight. We'll Glory take the slaves. Thanks power. very much. A little bit of experience for everyone. Look here. Has level. Do we get line breaker? Line breaker would give. Our Black Art Corsairs and Dark Shards more melee attack and defense. I mean, these guys with melee attack and defense would actually have pretty good melee attack and defense. So, alright, yeah, we'll do that. Sadistic. We'll hold off Sadistic, I think. Okay, Wololosh got some kills. Excellent, that should cheer her up. Um, tell you what, do you want a Scarecrow banner? Because I don't. Do you want a Crown of Command? I've got two. We can have one. Sure. Sure. What should I... I mean... It's very sea-themed, this. We've got lots of tentacles going on. It's all very under... Um, you, you know what? You know what? Wololosh? No. No. Pineapple under the sea. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. If not a nonsense, be something you wish. Then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. That's right, SpongeBob SquarePants. Perfect. So we've got SpongeBob chosen SquarePants. Yes, SpongeBob SquarePants is, of course, the chosen of Hecate. That we know is true. You can't. Well, stay in March Stance because you might get the skill for that. Uh, we could use more units. I'm, you know what? I'm tempted to. How much is this going to cost? 4,000. Hmm. Try the cruel seas. Uh, okay. How much would the gold mine cost? A bloody victory. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a thousand. That gives us 600, 900, and then 1,200. It's 1,000 and 2,000. Okay. Are restless. Oh, when aren't they? Okay, we'll, re re we'll repair that. I'm tempted to build this to get some money, but I think it's better to wait for the gold mine. That's going to be, ah, gonna be four turns, though. Ready. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do... Do we get another one of them? Do I get another two of them? 183. Two of them. Okay, we're going to get very little money from anything. Chosen of Hecate. But SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants Taking should be able to defend Chopper Chops from Rebellion. Theoretically, especially once we've upgraded the city and just got a few more units. Hopefully at that point, the city can be defended from the multiple Welcome and the imminent Rebellion. Oh, Skrulk, what is it, buddy? What's going on? You want a defensive alliance? Eh, I mean, 
I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to end up at war with most of Lustria, so... Sure, why not? I'll worry about killing you later. The constant rebellions could be a good thing. Let's look on the positives. Yeah, okay, yes, lots of people are very angry in Chopper Chops. On the positive, they can then be enslaved. So realistically, everyone wins. Let me rephrase that. Everyone who matters wins. Okay, we'll get SpongeBob back to Chopper Chops. And Loke here. Loke here is going to head for... Oh, we've got Revel and Suffering. More growth. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna get rebellion. Uh, let's go for continuous slave supply. There's always more work to be done. Unfortunately, a constant stream of unfortunate wretches whose only option is to do it. Increases income from ports and casualties captured post-battle. Can only be a good thing. Right. Uh, for us, anyway. Right. SpongeBob, back to Chop Chops. And lock here. You now have a full stack. And I think what we're going to do... I can actually see what the garrison here is. It's not actually that... You know what? I think probably the best first move would have been for to come down to, o to Oxhill and just hit, and just capture it. Off the bat. That probably would have been the best option. You know, hindsight and all that. At this point, yeah, not so much. Okay, let's... Head out to sea. We're going to go and grab this. The remnants of battle here. And maybe see if we can lure Teclis out for a fight. Peerless. Meanwhile, you, SpongeBob SquarePants, are going to defend Chopper Chops with your life. In three turns, you will have more of a garrison, which should help a bit. But Skaven Corruption is increasing to 77.8. So, yeah. I mean... Yeah, okay. Okay, I mean, at least we've got Admiral Barasathar here as well. So he can he can cover us with some of his oh, Black Ark abilities. Do we have, like, a big old... Oh, look at that! He's got a big old... Is that... Do they make this model? Or is it... Oh, they always have them. I didn't realise that. They've always got a big old tentacle mask on the back. Is that just, like... Lokir's black arcs, maybe. I don't know, but that's cool. They've got his tentacle face mask on the back there. Oh, the deeps is close. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so next time we're going to go and see if we can pick up some gubbins at sea and uh, hopefully build them, well, make enough money so we can build our gold mine while SpongeBob SquarePants holds the fort of Chupper Chups from the inevitable and relentless rebellions. All good. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.